Hello, and welcome back to Numismatics with Kenny. Today's video will show my most recent purchase from Coins of Chester County in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Mr. Joe is always fun to speak with and tells many great numismatic stories. If you're in the Westchester area, I suggest stopping by as he welcomes any collector of any age and with any experience level. While I went to pick up the coins from the other two videos I just made, I decided to look at the May World Coin binders from the same collection that uh, I hadn't purchased. So and I found some very nice pieces I would like to share with you now. So the first coin is a 1955 South African two and a half shillings. So this is a proof edition. It's much more reflective in a uh, In real life, and with when you have the coin in hand, it looks better. <laughs> and here's a 1920 Indian one rupee. Very nice condition. Slight gold toning around six o'clock, which very nice. Then we have. This 1906 C uh, British India 1 rupee. This was also in very nice condition. And I didn't realize this until actually just now. It looks like there might be a. Uh, let's see, here we go. Uh, a die clash around the crown. It appears to be. King Edward the Seventh's head. Sits neat. I don't know if that's. And you can even see right above the date. It's a little bit there as well. That's neat. I didn't realize that was there. Here's a 1920 straight settlements, 50 cent piece. I should keep it up here. <laughs> Then we have a 1921 straight settlements 50 cent piece. Then we have here, let's see, this is a 1907, uh, let's see, this is Sweden 2 kroner. This is a very nice design. See how much detail is in it. It's a really nice piece right there. In any condition, that's a really interesting piece. Now here's a 1956 Guernsey 8 doubles. Right, yeah. I think it's Guernsey. Nice red brown color. Now, this is a really neat piece. This is a 1912 uh, Japanese one yen. Nice large silver piece. Uh, and I, before I purchased this piece, I looked at everything on it. Uh, this really, this is, an, this is a true authentic piece. Uh, so I know a lot of these are counterfeited, but this one is a true uh, authentic original piece. And I mean, part of it, I mean, of course I looked at all the diagnostics and stuff, but uh, also this collection that I've been showing you in this video and the other, you know, the part one and part two of the original uh, Quinta Chester County collection, uh, they were uh, bought in like the 70s and 80s. And they've just pretty much been sitting around for quite a while until unfortunately the collector died and then the uh, wife had to sell his coins because she didn't really want them. 
Here's a really nice 1965 French five francs. Now this one, I, I see these all the time, but this one I got just because it's such in blast white con condition. It's amazing how uncirculated this piece really is. It's a, really, this is in very nice condition. Then we have here a, uh, let's see, 1976D German 5 mark with Jacob Hans Jacob Christoph von Gribble Schossen. I really don't know. <laughs> but it's a neat design anyway. It's one of those commemoratives. And we have here a 1935 Sweden 5 Kroner. Kroner. This is another very nice high grade example. The scratch there is on the flip, so don't worry. <laughs> And the final coin for this video is a 1957 Egyptian 25 piastres. I tried to find out what this building was on the obverse, but it's... Actually, technically this is the reverse, but uh, it really wasn't anything special. Or it didn't say if it was any important Egyptian building. But this coin is actually a commemorative... Uh, commemorating the National Assembly inauguration, I guess back in 1957. The Egyptian year is 1376, in case anybody was wondering. Well, again, it was much smaller than the other collection that I had gotten, uh, but still the coins are the same quality, really nice. Again, thank you, Mr. Joe. Uh, these All the coins I've showed you in the past couple videos are very nice. Thank you, and see you next time.